Hey everybody, I thought today we would look at the Vintage Superpowers Collection Superman today on Weird Fantastic Toy Adventures. The Adventures of Superman. Please do hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell. These things really do help the channel. And now on to the video. In the early 1980s, Kenner faced a big dilemma. It seemed that Return of the Jedi would probably be the last ever Star Wars movie. And with Mattel's Masters of the Universe and Hasbro's G.I. Joe figure line breathing down their necks, Kenner was looking at a future without a franchise. As the 1980s began, long-running DC licensee Mego had folded and the rights to make DC-based toys were up for grabs. In 1982, DC Comics invited multiple toy manufacturers to pitch the license to make action figures based on such iconic heroes as Superman and Batman, as well as the rest of the DC Universe. The Superman movies were performing well at the box office. A Batman film was in pre-production, although its long journey to the big screen will ultimately take another six years. And the long-running Super Friends Saturday morning cartoon showed no signs of losing steam. In fact, it was this cartoon series that would end up forming the backbone of the resulting toy line. Drawing heavily on Jose Luis Garcia Lopez's artwork from the 1982 DC Style Guide, Kenner was able to keep the line true to the comics and cartoons they were designed after. Jack Kirby himself was brought in to apply redesigns to the fourth world characters of Dark Side of the New God. This enabled Kirby to actually earn royalties on the figures produced. Of course, Superman was in Wave 1 and was featured very heavily in comic book ads such as this one that featured on the back of DC Comics in 1984. Each Superpowers figure came packaged with a little mini comic, and the Superman figure was no exception. Rocketed to Earth from the doomed planet Krypton as an infant by his parents Jor-El and Lara, baby Kal-El was found and adopted by Jonathan and Martha Kent, renamed Clark Kent. The boy grew up with good old Midwestern values. Upon discovering his powers that were gained by absorbing the radiation from a yellow sun, Clark became Superman, defender of justice. Clark works in his real identity as a mild-mannered reporter for the Daily Planet. And here he is, the vintage Superpower Superman. As you can see, the figure has a moving head, cloth cape, his arms move up and down, he has knee articulation, and bend his, uh, at the wa uh, waist here. And uh, when you squeeze his legs together, he does a super punch, and this figure is in excellent condition. The figure also came with a bio card with a picture of Superman on the front and bio information on the back. Now, also a little few years later, uh, a company called Toy Biz came out with another version of this figure and there are significant uh, differences between the Toy Biz version and this version and uh, I would like to compare them real quick. Uh, this is my Toy Biz version and this of course is a vintage Superpowers version. I I'm not sure but I think this was a lighter blue but this may have faded with time. Uh, one of the most significant differences is the uh, the S uh, symbol that's on the back of the of the cape. Uh, you can see that uh, this one here is a full full version, and this one here is, is kind of yellow on the red background of the cape. So there is a significant difference in the way those capes are designed and look. They are very similar, very very similar. But uh, I thought we would take a look at that. And uh, that's a wonderful figure. Uh, he, he has the, the, the likeness from the, 
from the from the artwork in the style guide that we saw earlier. Uh, it's just just a just an excellent excellent figure here. As you can see, he's got those 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 blue eyes there and uh, that embossed uh, Superman S symbol on his chest. Uh, you can see his belt here. And he, he's even got a belt buckle there in there. Uh, his hands are in fists and uh, you can even see the notches on his boots. And uh, here's here's a better better view of that of that uh, S symbol on his cape. One of the best figures ever designed, I think. Absolutely. Hope you enjoyed today's review of the Superman figure and a little bit of history behind the superpowers. For more videos like this, click here. And to subscribe to the channel, click right here. Thank you for watching.